What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to give you guys a big heads up because the next PS4 system software update 4.5 is just right around the corner. We're looking at as early as March 2017. That being said, I get some key information if you guys want to participate in this beta. The beta is going to be actually released in early February. There's some criteria that you must reach in order to be able to actually participate in the beta. Now, keep in mind, if you guys don't know anything about this, um, last time they did this and they give you access to the uh, system software update in advance early on. Remember, betas do crash and, and they do have bugs and they do have issues. That's the reason why there is a beta. But that being said, if you wanted to test some of the features out earlier than everybody else, you can sign up. The link will be in the video description. Guys, go sign up and then uh, hopefully you'll be part of it if that's your cup of tea. Um, there's some things that I wanted to go over with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So beta testers, um, you know, for the last system software update 4.0, uh, we're able to see things like new UI folders, uh, revised quick menu, and all that before the official launch. Um, if you're part of the program, you'll receive an email with instructions on downloading the beta version of the next system software. In order to sign up, you need a PS4, duh, <laughs> with an internet connection and access to a master account. I recommend if you're going to sign up, just sign up with your master account. Don't deal with uh, sub accounts or anything like that, okay? And remember, you can roll back to previous version software at any time. So if <laughs> the beta is not for you, if it crashes all the time, if you have issues with your PS4, you can always go back to what we are on right now. Uh, keep in mind, it is a beta, so there will be bugs and issues that you'll have to go along with and you'll have to report to Sony and that's the purpose of the beta. Uh, but hey, you might be able to see some of the new features before everybody else and maybe get to experience them as well. Now, as far as what's included in the beta, as soon as we get confirmation, I will definitely make a video to let you guys know. So make sure you're locked in right here. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And keep in mind, there's been a lot of talk and rumor about PlayStation name changes. A lot of people have some weird, crazy names. I would love to be able to use my first account that I use. I don't use it because I don't like the name, um, but I would love to use that and change it to something different completely because th that's where I first started uh, getting trophies. I don't have that many trophies, but it kind of dates back to when I got my a game that had trophy support included on the PlayStation 3. So it, it's kind of nostalgical in a way, but um, that that's really what I want. Uh, name changes. I know everybody's like, oh, I want name changes too. Another annoying thing, dear, please, PlayStation, when you go and create this new beta, I'm sure you guys are already working on it right now, uh, but can we have messages separate from uh group messages because i get so many messages and so many so many messages but then i also get group messages which kind of get buried in the middle and i would love to just see messages from a direct person as opposed to a group chat with a party uh in it there's like 59 people uh in one chat and 26 people in another chat and i'm getting notifications like crazy please change that please fix that that is one of my requests let me know what your guys's requests are in the comment section below i'll be curious as to know um i would really love a playstation v more playstation vr support um you know, the screen is kind of weird when you're actually looking at the screen as opposed to putting on the helmet. Um, if you can expand that and make it look normal, I would really appreciate it. But then also Blu-ray 3D support. I mean, come on, bros. And then also, please continue rolling out the YouTube uh, 3D uh, because I don't have access to it yet. And I want to be able to... I know other people have access to it. Um, and I want to be able to watch 
3D YouTube videos with my VR headset, please. Um, that's it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to hit a like. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.